So my friend in KL put me in touch with Arin here, who is a Terragana local. He knows everything. This morning we will have uh, nasi krabu, which is one of the best uh, local dish in Terengganu. Why is it one of the best? You should try it, Mark. Okay, okay. You I'm will excited. fall in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. Yeah. Are you not using your like before? It's hands. best to use uh, your hands. <laughs> Careful with this one. This one is spicy. spicy. Oh, yeah. I won't touch that. Yeah. <laughs> Nasi Karabu is this blue coloured rice that's really famous here in Taraganu. After that big breakfast, I need desserts. The locals told me to look for Pazar Payang. I need some energy, so I'm going to get some fruit. It's been a long time since I've seen a fruit market like this big. They have all the kinds of fruits, all fresh, all good. Really fresh. Freshest apple I've ever had in my life. Jambo Aya. Ah, oh, my favourite. Yum. You guys should try this. This is like apple with a bit of water inside, I think. Jambo Aya, I think, means apple water. But it tastes really, really nice. The central market, locally known as Pasapayang, is located by the Terengganu River and is one of the most popular spots in Kuala Terengganu. House in a modern building, it offers a variety of traditional handicrafts such as batik, silk, songket, as well as fresh produce. So we are here and we are gonna try on this for something. All these men dressing up for me, something I think is gonna be really cool. Be careful the masale, or you will get slayed. So man, why am I dressed like this and where are we today? Wow, you dress like a warrior, Malaysian warrior. I'm a warrior? You know? Yeah, this is nice. a Chris, you know? To step someone who grab your girlfriend, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. You can use this. You, <laughs> yeah. used, you used to use this uh, back in the history, right? Yeah, back in history for a warrior at Malaysia and especially at Terengganu. Now we're at Bukit Putri, you know? And you wear something we call baju layang. Yeah. This is something. Something uh, we, we call a, a king, a queen of fabric. I've bought this before but never like this so the warrior wear it differently is it? Yeah. This place so um, so what is it and what was it built for? Okay this is built for um, you know to protect the palace. You see the palace out there? Mm -hmm. So you you uh, learn some of the moves is it? Some of the moves? The moves. Move. The move. Ah, warrior moves. The warrior move. Uh, we call it silat you know. Can you teach, teach me some? Teach you some. Okay. 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 Do you need any uh, any vacancies to protect the palace? You need any more staff? Yeah, you need can, more. Can? Yeah, you can. I can join? Yeah, you can join. Is that a job? Yeah, you got a job. Alright, see you later. <laughs> the moves seem rather graceful, as if you're dancing, but with killer moves. Silat is a collective word for a class of martial arts from a geocultural area of Southeast Asia, mostly from Indonesia, Malaysia, South Thailand and Singapore. There's hundreds of different styles in schools, but they tend to focus on strikes, joint manipulation, throws, weaponry, or a combination of all of those. <laughs> After watching them show me their silat moves, it's now my turn. The Keris is one heck of a weapon. It's small, short, but trust me, you don't want to get messy with it, it can do you some serious damage. To have all these men teaching me see that is definitely an honour. Doing the moves, listening to the music really makes me wonder how it was like in the past. After knowing a bit more on Silat, I felt it was time to get more history sessions in Terengganu, so I head off to Monument Park for some lessons on the Islamic civilization. Okay, actually we have a short video and gallery, and you can go upstairs and take a look inside. We have the replica of Sacred Rock. Before our Prophet went to Isra Miraj, he stand on this rock, and at, uh, and at the same time, our Prophet was accompanied by Jibril Angel. 
Hmm. And when our prophet started to move, uh, Jibril and, uh, and the rock wanted to follow our prophet, and Jibril and Jay was stop uh, this rock and make it hanging until now, hmm. ten feet from the land. All monuments are important landmarks which mark the arrival, development, and glory of Islam in that particular country. Well, the theme park was really fun, and now I've got a TTI river cruise which is going to take me around to Aganio. I'm going to go on there, relax, and enjoy the breeze. Even though the monuments in the park are based on the Islamic civilization, the park does not limit its attractions to only Muslims, which is a great thing for foreigners like me. And guess what? I'm having dinner here, next to the mosque. Well, what a day. I mean, I had such a good time at the Islamic Heritage Park. Checking out all the mosques was so good. I didn't realise there were so many beautiful mosques in the world. And speaking about beautiful mosques, check out this one right here. This one is just so majestic. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy some nice steamboat whilst having this nice view. So I'm going to stop talking. And you know what? I'm going to start eating. Steamboat is basically throwing everything you like in a broth and eating until you can't eat anymore. Such a local way to end the night. Good night, everyone.